Welcome to episode 10, The Lost Footage. If you remember correctly, I had left off the last episode using a smudge GoPro and claiming that I had lost the remaining footage. Luckily, this was not the case. As I was cruising through the files for episode 10, I located the lost GoPro footage. So let's take a quick look at what we were missing from last episode. Ha! The smudge is fixed. We can see again. As with all added pieces to the boat, I start with thickened epoxy and start smudging it in the seams. So I found the best method to actually smudging the epoxy into the seams is to use your hand, then follow it up with the squeegee. Using your fingers as a guide really helps to know how much epoxy you've put in the seams and where exactly it's gone. Each seam is then covered with one layer of 1708 tape. behind the galley frame to insert the last piece of 1708 tape on the seam of the bulkhead to the actual hole of the boat. It's a pretty tight squeeze but I bring you guys along to see exactly what's taking place back there. Now this is the exact reason why my GoPro is in a constant state of repair. As you can tell by the sheen on my gloves, every time I pick up the GoPro, I leave behind wet epoxy which continues to harden, which fuses the hatches of the GoPro doors together and I have to pry them apart, which in the end damages the GoPro. Once the galley is actually in place and hardened, I begin to make a few more templates to continue to strengthen the structure of the entire galley frame and provide a good surface to build upon and add various shelves to this area. So here you can see the finished bulkhead for the other side of the galley as well as the shelf that I created which will hold the 5 gallon water jug used for drinking water. I then begin the 
process of building the third bed template, which you may be able to tell is not gonna be a full size bed. However, it's probably better suited for some free dive gear. you had to be flexible in order to build a boat. Now time to try this new seat slash bed slash storage spot out. Testing it out in some choppy waters. So this is where we left off at episode nine, where I was going around showing you the foam core cutting for the roof and the hatch building. These hatches will be used for all the beds, seats, and shelves in the boat. They will allow access to underneath each of these and provide for more storage. Before I wrap up the day, I check on the newly epoxied galley shelf and third bed. So that's it for this short episode. Be sure to come back next time where I core the roof with the newly cut Divinicel.